Hi, my name is Kevin Ream, Vice President and General Manager of Crownline Boats, and we're here today to do a product walk around on our exciting new E1XS. This particular model is a brand new introduction for us for 2017. And the most exciting part about this boat is we were able to bring many of our design features from our larger boats, our E4 and E6, and bring them down to a 21 and a half foot boat. That's what makes this boat so exciting and so compelling. Starting in the back of the boat, a few things I'd like to pick out. One, we have a full walk around swim platform with a soft touch mat. We also have a telescoping four step boarding ladder with a built in grab handle. Really allows you to transition easily from the water into the boat safely. We also have a stainless steel grab handle tooled in there so it's easy to grab as you're walking up and, and uh, coming out of the water. You'll note that we have the non stick soft touch mat all the way through the walk through transom design. The first step up, also the second step down. This really helps ensure that no one slips coming in and out of the boat. The other thing we have on our boat is a transom gate. It allows you to close off this area so if you have small children in the cockpit, you can secure them by closing off that area. Also have a built-in rope locker on the other side uh, for storage of any rope uh, items that you bring on board and self-draining so that it doesn't build up any water. One of the neat features we talked about uh, just in the introduction was the features we were able to bring down from our larger boats to this boat. One of the most uh, popular features is our sun deck seating here in the cockpit. This folds out to a six foot sun bed without the use of cockpit filler cushions. This particular one is manual and so what you do is you position your hands on both sides of the rear cushion, lift up slightly and pull it forward and it locks into position what we call a rear three quarter. This way if you want to sit off the back of the boat you can do so easily with lumbar support. If you choose not to sit this way, then there's another adjustment. You easily come back into the boat, pull up the cushion again, and it locks down in the full position. Again, you can lay out completely with a sunbed. Very popular feature. We're really excited that we were able to bring this down to one of our smaller boats. Put the cushion back in place, just pull forward, slide it all the way back to whichever position you might like. Also consistent with all of our East Eries, we have what we call a quick release engine hatch. It's a fingertip release control, allows you to just access this area. Now since this is an outboard, what we did was we took back this storage space underneath the seat. So you can put large items in here, wet items, it's, it's drainable, it doesn't build up any water, it drains, to, drains overboard, but it's a great storage area. We maximize all the space under our sun deck seating. Continuing to go around the cockpit, we have a, what we call a soft J-wrap seating. This cushion, also what we have was a hands-free design. We call it that way because the cushion is supported by a stainless steel shock and a piano hinge. So the cushion stays in the upward position so you can easily access the storage space underneath. When not in use, you just put it back. Moving forward, we have large cockpit floor storage in this model. I'm gonna step down into it to give you some perspective on how deep this is. I'd say it's about three feet in depth and it goes forward up into the area between the helm and passenger side panel. So you can, if, for those that uh, still water ski, have large items that you want to stow, you can put that all the way underneath. You look down into that device, you'll see two items. One, your running lights, forward and aft pole, but the longer stainless steel pole is your standard ski toe, stainless steel ski toe eye that you install in the back of the boat for those that want to pull water skiers, tubers, or do any kind of other water sports. One of the exciting features of this boat is the bucket seats at both the driver and the passenger. These are the deluxe bucket seats. They're suspension seat bases uh, that help reduce the pounding when it, on rough water. They also have flip up bolsters, both the driver and the passenger. Also have the stainless steel accent and logos. Now the other thing uh, I wanted to point out is that these seats both spin 360 and also slide forward and aft. This diamond control is recessed, it pulls out. If you want the bucket to pivot, 360, you pull up on the right side of this handle and the bucket pivots in a circle. If you like to have the seat slide forward or aft, you pull up on the left side of the diamond and the bucket slides forward and aft. Looking at the helm station, we're really proud of what we call our SS dash. It's got a hand wrapped double stitch brow, two five inch gauges with stainless steel bezels. You got a black racing wheel with polished spokes and all of your accessory switches are easily accessible right there on the dash. In addition, we have a tooled in GPS landing, so if you want to add additional Raymarines or Garmin controls after the fact, we have a landing for you to install them and easily plumb into the electrical system. Moving from the cockpit forward, you see we have easy storage access here. 
built-in waste can there. You also have access to the whole, whole storage area in both of these companion areas. How we've designed this boat is you have access to this storage area two ways, either through this or also through the forward lean back cushion. This is also on a shock and raises up and allows you access into this huge oversized storage area in the bow of the boat. Also have the same feature on the driver's side. That has a dual feature. Not only do you have access to all the storage, but you also have access to the serviceability of the electronics in the control station at the helm. That's really key if you ever have to swap out anything like a fuse that's not easily accessible or anything that you might need to do on the service side. We're always thinking about the access to service when we design our boat, especially in the electronics side. Neat thing about this bow is we have 13 degree lean backs. We have a new design with our diamond pattern built into the lean backs. Also have the solid side panels and the embroidered name and the logo. Uh, we're really excited about the, these new interior designs for 17. This particular one is called the Pure Platinum Design. And the, and the bow of this boat is designed with flip up armrests, again, for comfort and convenience. And we also have stainless steel rails built in to also grab onto. Again, for reference, I'm 6'1", 200 pounds, and I can easily lay out in the front of this bow comfortably. With the optional filler cushions, you can turn this whole area into a sunbed and really enjoy your, your relaxation on the water. The other thing I'd like to point out is there's also storage under each of these cushions. These cushions function on a hinge, pull forward, and again, you have large storage area, both forward and aft. You'll see that gray matter again, that's, uh, that gray surface that's sprayed into those areas. That's our patented spray and bed liner. We use that in all of our storage areas, in our engine compartments. It's non-marring, wears like iron, reduces or eliminates mold and mildew, and then when it dries and sets up, it's watertight. So it has a lot of benefits to the customer. One of the things that we're really proud of that we do as a process at Crown Line. Lastly, in the forward portion of the boat, we have a 25 quart carry-on cooler that's easily recessed over there and when not in use, easily covered back up. I'd like to point out one other thing on the bow of this boat. Our E-Series boats actually come with two boarding ladders. A forward boarding ladder, also four-step telescoping, and a rear boarding ladder. The neat thing about this is because of the outboard design especially, a lot of the applications is you drive up and beach the boat. By dropping this forward ladder, you can drop it down and exit the boat in six inches of water. Instead, in the back of the boat, you might be in three or four foot of water. So a lot of times you can go on shore and exit and enter the boat in much shallower water because you have the opportunity to enter and exit through the bow. That's why we design in the secondary uh, soft touch mats in the bow of the boat as well as in the transom. All of our E-Series boats are like that specifically for that reason. One of the features I want to go back and touch on was one that I did miss earlier in the cockpit des the design and that was the undermount cockpit storage drawers. It's one of the features that we really were excited about in our larger boats and we were able to bring it down. This is the smallest boat in our lineup that we were able to redesign the stringer system with to capture this exclusive feature. When stepping down in here, underneath the driver's helm station, we have this tooled in drawer. And this is where you store your, your standard cockpit table when it's not in use. Again, for the use in the bow or in the cockpit, two areas to have conversations, drinks, small lunch, whatever you like to use the table for. But when it's not in use, push it back away and you still have complete access to everything in the storage compartment. Lastly, I just want to talk briefly about the specs on this boat. 21 Ford LOA, 8 6 foot beam, 19 degree dead rise, roughly 3,900 pounds max dry weight. 